Hello, in this video we're going to try to solve this equation. We have the square root of the square root of x and that is equal to x. Solution. So in order to do this, we need to get rid of the square roots. I'm going to go ahead and write down the original equation one more time. So the square root of the square root of x and that's equal to x. And then to get rid of the square root, all we have to do is square both sides. So let's do that. So I will square it here and we'll square it here. When you square the left hand side, one of the square roots goes away. So we just get the square root of x and that's equal to x squared. Now we still have a square root here, so we have to do it again. So again, squaring both sides, we end up getting rid of the square root over here on the left. So we just get x equals and then here, when you square these, the property of exponents says that you multiply. So two times two is equal to four. So we get x to the fourth. So we have x equal to x to the fourth. By the way, I should emphasize that we're only looking for the real solutions in this problem. I wanna emphasize that. So we're looking for real solutions. Okay. So now to solve this, what we can do is we can set it equal to zero. So let's subtract x from both sides like this. And let's put this side on the left. So we have x to the fourth minus x, and that's equal to zero. And I'll talk about why we're only looking for real solutions uh, in a second. Now we can pull out an x because we have a common factor. So we have x parentheses. And to figure out what goes here, you ask yourself, what do you multiply by x in order to get x to the fourth? Well, x cubed, right? This is really an x to the one. So when you multiply these, you add the exponents. One plus three is four. Then minus, and then what do you multiply by x in order to get negative x, just minus one? And that's equal to zero. Now, x cubed minus one does factor further, and it does have three solutions but um, two of them are not real solutions. So we only want the real solution, so we don't have to factor this any further. So whenever you have a product equal to zero, you just set each factor equal to zero. So x equals zero, and then x cubed minus one equals zero. So zero is one of our answers. And then here you just add the one. So x cubed equals one. And then just take the cube root of both sides, cube root of three, cube root of x cubed, cube root of one, and then these this goes away, so you just get x equals the cube root of one, and we only want the real solution, right? One does have three cube roots, two of them being complex, and then one of them being real, and that one that is real is actually the number one. So these are the real solutions to this equation. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.